Hi everyone, it's Philip at NYC Music Services back with another tutorial, and this one's about using text wildcards in Sibelius. Before we begin, a brief note about our upcoming Sibelius training sessions in New York City, where you'll learn tips like these and much more on Friday, August 16th, 2013, at the Juilliard School from 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Please visit our website at sibelius123.com for complete details about the sessions and for registration information. We hope to see you there. Wildcards are text tokens that are automatically substituted with text from elsewhere. They're useful for situations where you'd want the same information to be shown in lots of different places, allowing you to change that information once and have it updated automatically everywhere else. They're also useful for showing different information in the same place automatically. First, let's create a new score. We'll set up our time and key signatures and type in some text in the score information setup. Once we create our score, we'll see that the text has populated onto the first page of music as well as on the title page if we've elected to create one. Take a look at where else the text is populated. The backstage area, which we get to by going to File, Info. Let's go back to our score. Suppose we wish to change the title of our composition. I could double click and type a new name on the title page, but that doesn't propagate to the first page of music, nor has it affected our file information. This is where wildcards can come in handy. A complete list of wildcards is listed in the Sibelius reference in section 5.16. There is quite an extensive list which can be used to great advantage. You can even apply formatting to your wildcards, so if you think you have good reasons to use wildcards in your score, I'd encourage you to read more about them. For now, let's enter in the wildcard for title. All wildcards start with backslash, dollar sign, then the name of the wildcard, then another backslash. Hit the escape key to exit the text area. Let's do the same for the first page of music. If I wish to change the title later, I would go to the backstage area and change it there. Now, the title is automatically updated in all instances where the wildcards appear. I've set up shortcuts using a text expander program so that I can quickly enter common wildcards without typing the whole string. There are many programs that can do this, but I happen to be using quick keys. My particular shortcuts are the letter X, followed by the first three letters of the wildcard. But you could use whatever you like. You can see how wildcards can be useful as page headers and elsewhere in your document. Once a text area contains a wildcard, Sibelius will prompt you if you attempt to edit the text area, asking if you don't intend to edit the data in the backstage area instead. I hope you found this brief overview useful. Thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you on August 16, 2013, for our training sessions at Juilliard in New York City.